What is up guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to win more gunfights in COD Mobile. Now what this really means is you're gonna get a lot more kills and a lot less deaths at the end of each match. And of course, winning gunfights is one of the most important things in every first person shooter. But like always, one tip video isn't gonna instantly make you better. You have to practice all of these tips and tricks that I'm gonna be giving you and play with them for a while to actually see noticeable improvements. So before we actually hop into the real video, I would like to say that I post a ton of different kinds of content on my channel. So if you like these kind of tips and tricks videos, remember to drop a like because I will make sure to make more. And of course, if you're new here, subscribe. So now we're actually just going to move on to my first tip and probably my most important one, which is to improve your movement. So this of course can include jump shotting, drop shotting, strafing, pretty much anything that you could possibly do to make your opponent miss some bullets. Now, of course, movement is important in almost every single first person shooter even more so in cod mobile it can help you escape it can help you get places it can help you push opponents movement is what separates the great players from the good players now of course i can't really go super in depth in today's video and teach you every single way that you should be moving and how to drop shot and jump shot of course i do have an older video on this if you want to check it out but the two forms of movement that i would definitely focus on the most is jump shotting and drop shotting now everybody has their own preference. I know a lot of players like to jump shot and a lot of players also like to drop shot. So whatever feels more natural for you, that's what you be, should be focusing your attention on. So that was my number one tip. Now we're going to be moving on to the second one, which is pre-aiming a lot. Pre-aim more than you do right now. You've probably heard me say this in the past and you started to do it a little bit, but you honestly should be doing it a lot more than you already are. Here is actually a clip from Pro Console COD. Look how much they do it, even if they don't know anyone there most of the time they're gonna zoom in for at least half a second now of course they're not just aiming at any random spot once you play these maps for a while you eventually realize places that people like to push or rotate through so pre-aiming those specific spots can really give you an edge because you're gonna be zoomed in before them you're gonna get the first shot off and you're most likely gonna win the gunfight most of the time you're not gonna learn this naturally if it does it's gonna take a while but the easiest way to get better at this is just to hop into some public matches or rank matches and really just consciously focus on pre-zooming almost every time you're going around a corner and eventually you'll learn when to do it and when not to do it so moving on to my third tip it's actually to find the perfect sensitivity for you now of course i can't go super in depth in this video i do have some older videos on it but i plan to make an updated one in the future now of course i have seen a ton of sensitivity videos in the past that tell you if you can do a 180 or a 360 comfortably this is your sensitivity well that is not true at all your personal sensitivity should depend on what type of player you are for example if you're a close range smg player then you probably want to have a higher sensitivity because when people are close to you of course they're going to be running faster across your screen and you're going to need a higher sensitivity to track and flick on them but if you're more of a long range or medium range assault rifle player you're going to have to adjust your sensitivity and you definitely don't want it to be the same and you don't want to base it off of the same method to find your sensitivity as you would an smg player so if i were to give you a tip right now like i said i don't want to go too deep on this topic I would say that you should adjust your sensitivity based on where you're taking your gunfights if they're closer to you then maybe increase your sensitivity and if they're a little bit farther then I would lower it now if the sensitivity just feels wrong in general don't stick with it don't completely screw up your aim but if you feel like you found one that feels really comfortable and you could work with it I would recommend keeping it for at least two to three days just to kind of get your muscle memory used to it to see if it's actually a perfect sensitivity for you so my next tip for you guys and I believe it's my fourth tip now is to pre-fire. Pre-firing, I don't see it actually done enough in COD Mobile. It is done a lot in Pro Console COD. What pre-firing actually is, is for example, you're going through a doorway, but before you get in there, you think someone is inside of that room. So you pre-fire, which means you start shooting before you actually cross the entrance. I'll actually show you a clip of that right now in Console COD.
Now this is a really, really important skill to get used to and good at because if you're pre-firing and someone walks into it, of course, you're going to get the first like three or four shots off. And most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time, if you hit all your shots on the pre-fire, you're going to win that gunfight. Now I am going to admit that I am honestly not that great at pre-firing. It's really hard to do successfully, but if you pull it off, it really gives you an advantage. Of course, you have to have a lot of game sense and high game IQ to know when to actually start pre-firing because if you do it and nobody's there, you're going to maybe run out of ammo, have to reload your weapon and then end up dying because every time you reload, that is risky because there's a chance that someone's going to push you and you're going to get killed. Now, of course, if you're not that comfortable with your game sense and your knowledge of rotations and pushes, then I would just only recommend pre-firing when you know someone is there. For some reason, and I see this all the time in ranked, people know, they know there's a guy in front of them through this doorway, but for some reason they walk in, then start shooting. I don't understand why they don't just start shooting before they even enter, get the first shot and win the gunfight. All right, so we're now on to the final tip. I do realize this video is kind of going a little bit fast. That's what I like to do with my tips and tricks videos. I like to jam as much knowledge into as little time frame as possible. So if you guys like this kind of format, remember to drop a like on the video. So moving on to our final tip, which is to use meta weapons. Now what meta means is pretty much top tier or the best in the game. So you probably see me using a ton of different types of weapons. And the reason for this is just for fun. But if you're a tryhard and you're just here to win more gunfights, then I would always recommend using the top tier weapons and perks. Now, the reason for this is if you're just using a weapon that's straight up better than your opponent's weapon, then you're most likely gonna win that gunfight. You always want to give yourself as much advantage as possible. So combining all of my tips together, using meta weapons, pre-firing, pre-aiming, moving, jumping, sliding, all of that. If you combine all of that together, it's going to give you a huge advantage and hopefully help you win a lot more gunfights. But like I said, you're not instantly going to get better. So you have to practice all of these and eventually over time, you will see a definite improvement. So of course, that's the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed, remember to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.